Hello, we're going to take some time today to introduce you to Young Living Essential Oils. I'm sure that you've been hearing a lot about oils and maybe you're really curious what all the fuss is about. Well, you're about to find out because we are going to share this beautiful new kit with you and the packaging that Young Living has uh, just come out with. From our fields to your family really sums up the heart of Young Living and what this company stands for. To share a little bit about me, my name is Ashley Boyd and I am a Young Living leader. This is a picture of me on the farm in Mona, Utah at the 2014 convention. I was really excited to see the einkorn wheat. This was my first time to visit a Young Living farm, so my excitement was kind of apparent. I do need to let you know that I'm not a medical professional. This information is not intended to treat, diagnose, or cure any illness, and this information should not replace professional medical advice. I'm here to share and just introduce you to Young Living Oils and something that we're just really excited about in our family. Now I just want to share a bit about Young Living and why I love this company. Young Living has been the world leader in essential oils for more than 20 years. Their purpose is to bring greater wellness and abundance to people all over the world. This purpose has brought unprecedented growth to Young Living in the past two years. It has actually made Young Living a billion dollar company very recently. So they have the largest selection of single oils and blends on the market, and they also have a really strong commitment to stewardship, even at the risk of their own profit. They've recently taken, up, taken it upon themselves to have um, all, any oil containing rosewood reformulated so that it doesn't use that oil. This source is really vulnerable due to illegal logging in Brazil, and so they've decided to just take themselves out of that in order to help protect the source and not put any more strain on Rosewood. Young Living owns farms worldwide, and that allows them to control their seed to seal process, which we'll talk more about in just a second. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Young Living Farms. And to ensure that Young Living is able to control every step of the seed to seal process, we own eight farms on four continents and partner or co-op farm with many other farms around the world. Gary Young is highly involved in the process of scouting the, the globe to find farms that offer ideal conditions. Gary does not like to use land that has ever been, uh, ever had pesticides used on it before. So we really go beyond organic in our seed to seal process. And Gary Young makes sure that that starts with the land that the botanicals are grown on. Besides our own farms, Young Living partially owns many others around the world in partnership with independent growers. These growers agree to adhere, adhere strictly to our seed to seal process and are carefully vetted for compliance. There are also co-op farms that we source some of our essential oils from and they work, these farms work exclusively with Young Living and also have to adhere to our seed to seal process. Occasionally when there's a lot of stress on a certain product or a, a poor yield, Young Living will have to go to a vendor but they're very, very strict about the vendors they work with, and um, they'll test everything that comes in. Last year when black spruce was short, I remember, uh, and Valor was out of stock, and everybody was really stressed about that, uh, they had sourced from a vendor some black spruce to distill, and they actually tested it, and it did not hold up to, um, to our quality standards. So Young Living chose to allow Valor to stay out of stock for a further three or four months waiting for us to be able to source it ourselves from our new uh, farm in Canada. Uh, the Northern Lights farm there is where our black spruce is from. And so they really do have a commitment to quality and um, being very in control of the process. And that's one of, this is one of the things that sold me on Young Living and using this company is because they own their own farms. And the ability to go to the farms has been a really great, a really great experience. You can visit the farms, especially uh, the ones here in the U.S. that are easy for most of us Americans to get to. They have uh, harvest uh, different times of the year that you can go and help. Plus, um, uh, other times they have events, Lavender Days and stuff in Mona, Utah. Just a lot of really great events and ways to go see this process up close and personal.
So I've mentioned seed to seal a few times and I want to just really break this down and let you know what this is all about. This is the thing that really sets Young Living apart. They are so involved with the process from the time it is planted in the ground all the way to the time it's sealed and gets to you um, to make sure that the essential oils you get are really the highest quality possible. So the first step in that process is the seed. Uh, potent essential oils come from plant species that have been authenticated by Young Living and industry experts. Selecting seeds that produce the highest value is a vital first step in our seed to seal process. I've heard Gary Young say that they only select seed from healthy plants that are um, that are blooming well. That uh, they a lot of the varieties that they use are heirloom varieties, so they want to make sure they haven't been cross um, pollinated with something else and things like that, just to make sure that what what is in that bottle is what they say it is. Um, cultivating is the, the next step that's really important. And this is the knowledge of soil preparation, the balance of sun and water, responsible weed and pest control, and wildcraft harvesting to ensure that stringent standards are met both on our own farms as well as our carefully monitored partner farms. They take this really seriously too. A lot of people ask if Young Living is organic. It, although we aren't certified organic, we use only oils on our uh, farms in order to keep it for pest control and things like that they they use the oils um, in the cultivation process and so that's really um, that's really interesting and I have been out on the farms and seen the bees everywhere and there are no pesticides used on these farms the next process is distillation which is combining ancient and modern techniques young uh, Gary Young really came up with this technique of distillation and he is super passionate about it. I've heard him speak for hours on this a couple of times and he usually loses me at some point when he starts talking about chemical components that I don't understand. But Young Living's low pressure steam distillation process ensures that the beneficial plant compounds in each batch of essential oils remain uncompromised. This step is completed at just the right time to ensure all beneficial constituents are present to maximize the quality of the oil. Additionally, we use tree resin hydro distillation for select oils and cold processing techniques for most of our citrus essential oils. So not all of the oils are steam distilled, but most of them are. Um, I've heard Gary talk about how long he has to work with a dis someone before they're allowed to run a distillery on their own. And I believe it's um, several years someone has to train and um, work with a kind of a master distiller in order in order to be able to run one on their own because just a few degrees off or even one degree off and a few minutes off can ruin an entire batch or really mess with the value of an entire batch of oil. So they're really, really strict on that process. The testing process is um, just to ensure Young Living never accepts diluted cut or adulterated essential oils. To guarantee consistent quality, our essential oils are tested in our own internal labs as well as third-party facilities to ensure that they meet demanding specifications. Uh, the final process is the seal. Uh, we complete our seed to seal process by carefully sealing and inspecting each bottle of essential oil at our um, state-of-the-art cleaning room facility and then shipping to members worldwide. Individual bottle labels are encoded with detailed tracking information. And if you've ever had a bottle uh, broken or anything like that, you know that um, the Young Living customer service is amazing about sending uh, sending you a new bottle if it's broken during shipping and things like that. They really take responsibility for how it is uh, received by you. So that's something that I really love about the company. At Young Living, we take our stewardship of the plant and its inhabitants very seriously. We diligently scrutinize every step of our production process to bring you the purest products Earth has to offer. We call it seed to seal. It's not a slogan. It's our calling. And I love that. They really do take this very seriously. If you ever get a chance to listen to Gary Young speak about the seed to seal process, take it because it will ensure that you, um, you will hear his passion. <laughs> you can't help but hear his passion when he talks about this process. All right, so let's get down to business here. What are essential oils? Essential oils are aromatic liquids extracted from plants, usually through steam distillation. We talked about a few instances just a second ago that uh, where steam distillation isn't used. 
But whether you use the oils for aromatherapy, personal care, or household solutions, every aspect of daily life can benefit from the incorporation of essential oils. And we're going to talk about some of the ways that you can use these in your home. Okay, so let's talk about some of the ways that we can use these oils. There are three main ways people use oils, aromatically, topically, and internally. I'm going to have some little symbols come up here that you'll see on some of the Young Living materials that helps you identify just different ways for how you can use the oils individually. Let's talk about aromatically. Aromatically is when you want to use the oils in the air to inhale them. You can even just put an oil on your hands and smell them, and that's an aromatic thing. Some people love to use diffuser necklaces and things like that. Um, the most common way people use the oils aromatically, though, is using a diffuser. We'll talk a little bit later about some Young Living diffusers and uh, some of the options that you have there. But I love to diffuse in my home. It's Diffusing is really uplifting to the spirit. It's also a great alternative to candles, making your home smell really nice and inviting. I'll even put oils on a cotton ball and stick them in the vents of my car. Uh, when I'm driving to uh, kind of diffuse and, and get that aromatic value of the oils while I'm driving. Topically is the most common way that we use the oils in my home. Um, many of the oils are safe and beneficial to use directly on the skin. Um, it's, but you do need to know that essential oils are very potent and may be irritating to the skin. Uh, some oils are hot oils, um, kind of spicy type oils, usually citrus oils. Um, cinnamon, things like that it can be kind of hot. You, if you look on the back of the label, it will give you dilution guides. So anytime you're using an oil, especially for the first time on sensitive skin, on children, you want to make sure you dilute it well just to be safe. If you ever put on an oil and it is warm and it's hot on your skin, you can actually put a carrier oil on top of that and dilute it. When I talk about carrier oils, carrier oils are vegetable type fatty oils. So we're talking olive oil, coconut oil, don't use corn or canola oil. You want a good quality vegetable oil and that will break, um, kind of not break down the oil, but it'll dilute it. So it spreads it out and you can dilute it even after you've applied it topically. So just keep that in mind. Um, as for where you apply, you can apply anywhere on your body. We really like to apply to the bottom of the feet because of the VitaFlex points there. Um, it's really great for targeting specific body uh, systems and things like that. So we really do use the feet a lot. Um, also, on the feet are not sen a sensitive area on the bottom, so um, you don't have to worry as much about diluting well. And if some of the oils are not a pleasant scent to you, feet are a great option. Just stick a sock on and stick it in your shoe, and you can still get that therapeutic value without necessarily having to smell the oil. Internally is another option, and this is a thing with Young Living. Young Living's oils are safe to be used internally. You want to make sure you look on the bottle and make sure that it says on the front, uh, supplement. If it says supplement, it's, it has been approved by the FDA to be used internally. Um, when you're using the oils internally, you do want to use take some, some tips. There are um, gelatin capsules that you can use. And you can put a few drops of oil into the capsule. If it's a, a hot oil, you want to make sure you dilute it in the capsule as well. You can add a couple of drops of essential oil to a glass of water, to ninja red, juice, yogurt, um, or you can add it to milk. You want to make sure if you're adding especially citrus oils that, that you only add them to glass. Don't put them in styrofoam or plastic. And some people have learned this the hard way because it'll eat through them. Citrus oils break down petrochemicals and then it'll etch away at your plastic glass and then you will actually be ingesting that. So you don't want to do that. Just stick with glass, stick with stainless steel, um, and the oils won't react with those. Um, you can also add a couple of drops to oil to, um, in, to as ingredients in recipes. I know some people love to add lime oil to their guacamole. So, I mean, those are great options for how to use oils and um, get them into your system. So we've talked about how Young Living has hundreds of oils and blend options, and we are not going to talk about all of them today. Instead, we're going to focus on what's called the everyday oils. These are the 10 
most commonly used oils, and it's just really a great foundation for getting started with oils. We're also going to talk about a few others, stress away being one of them, uh, towards the end, and we'll talk about why I'm adding those in. But these oils are, gonna, are a really great place to start when you are new to essential oils. We're going to start with lavender. Lavender is universally regarded as one of the most powerful and versatile essential oils and the uses for this plant are really almost endless. Lavender essential oil is one of the main Young Living products because it offers a host of benefits and a sweet floral aroma. Lavender is probably the most popular Young Living oil. It is very versatile. It supports the skin. It's very calming. Um, I, it is my go-to oil for uh, almost anything. If I don't know what else to use, then I'll try lavender. You notice when you smell it that it doesn't have a um, kind of a body spray lavender scent. It's not sweet. It's very weedy. It smells very much like the flower. And I've been to the farms and been able to pick the lavender and smell it, and it smells exactly like that. So you know that what you're getting is really just the plant and you're getting the value of, of what's in that plant. All right, next up we're going to talk about frankincense. Frankincense essential oil has an earthy balsamic aroma that is highly revered for its ability to increase feelings of spirituality and inner strength. Known for a broad range of uses, frankincense features prominently in our skincare line of products. So frankincense is also an extremely versatile oil, but it is not my number one go-to. I tend to save it because it's a lot more expensive than uh, lavender, so I tend to go to lavender first. The smell of frankincense is a lot different than what I expected. I guess maybe I expected it to smell like Christmas since it was the oil brought to Jesus um, as if that has anything to do with it, but it doesn't. It smells like dirt. It's very earthy. Um, it smells kind of like an old building or rotting wood, uh, but I've really grown to to appreciate the scent of frankincense. It's, it is very, very calming. So, um, and I usually say this and I, and I believe it, but if it's good enough for Jesus, then it is good enough for me. Peppermint is another young living uh, kind of fan favorite. <laughs> the fresh energizing aroma of peppermint essential oil helps support healthy digestion. It's great for flavoring drinks. It can also help promote healthy intestinal function. I love to add this to my water. It only takes one drop in a big bottle of water. This peppermint is really strong. Um, and don't make the mistake that I did and add several drops to your bottle of water and um, be a little overwhelmed but it is uh, really energizing. I love to add it to my water when I'm doing late night rehearsals and things like that because it really just helps me stay focused and it supports the digestive system. This is why peppermints are always out and everybody has them after meals because it, peppermint really does help support your digestive system. Lemon is next on the list, and lemon's many applications make it one of the most useful essential oils to have on, on hand. The fresh, zesty aroma is refreshing, and its naturally occurring D-lemonine plays an important role in Ningxia Red, Young Living's super fruit supplement. We'll talk more about Ningxia Red later on, but lemon is another one that I really love to add to my water. Don't forget, don't add it to plastic, only glass, but um, it's a really, really great oil. It does um, have... It tastes just like lemon. It smells just like lemon. This is another one people love to add to um, cleaning recipes and things like that just because it has that fresh scent um, and very a very clean, crisp scent. Copaiba has just been added to the list of the everyday oils, and I'm so glad because I really, really love this oil. It, Unlike other oils, it's tapped directly from the tree rather than distilled. It has a really, really gentle scent. It's not a strong scent, um, and, and I really, really like that. It's kind of, it's a, just slightly weedy, but it's just really um, clean and crisp, and I, I just love the smell of Copaiba because it's just so gentle. It has a soothing aroma. It's great for supporting healthy skin. It's also great for adding to 
oils when you are layering them. Uh, I like to always add Copaiba on last because it helps enhance other oils. Um, so it's one that I just like to add into any mix. It's, it is one of the main ingredients in uh, Stress Away, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. So Copaiba has a lot of great uses. Now we're getting into an oil that is a must-have in our home. This is Thieves. Thieves owes its pleasant spicy aroma and flavor to a balanced blend of cinnamon bark, clove, eucalyptus radiata, rosemary, and lemon essential oils. This one-of-a-kind blend can be found in many of Young Living's most popular products. Taken internally, it may help maintain a healthy respiratory system. Um, Thieves is really an incredible oil. There's an entire line of Thieves products uh, from dental floss and toothpaste and mouthwash all the way to um, a cleaning spray. I love the smell of it. This smells like Christmas. It The cinnamon and clove, it smells like uh, cookies baking. And I just really love, I love to diffuse this in my home throughout the winter. We're going to talk about Panaway next. I love the smell of Panaway. It is a very minty, wintergreen um, type scent. Panaway is an essential oil blend of wintergreen, hel helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. And it's great to use following physical activity. Um, it smells cool and refreshing. It feels cool and refreshing. My husband loves to use this after he's had a really um, stringent workout. Uh, Panaway is his go-to. We like to dilute it. It's it is kind of a hot, more hot oil, so we dilute it in a carrier oil. It also allows it to be spread over a larger area, so um, that's another benefit of diluting the oils. RC is a new addition to the Everyday Oils Kit, and I'm so excited because it is a staple in our home. It is one that I recommend to people right after they get the kit, um, and now I don't have to because it comes in it. So uh, RC really is really great for supporting the respiratory system. It has a soothing aroma because it combines the essential oils of three unique varieties of eucalyptus with other aromatics. So it's an aromatic must-have. It's great for diffusing in your home. This is one that we just really love and use a lot. Um, and it's and really helpful for supporting our respiratory systems. Purification is a great oil to have in your home. It neutralizes odors and enhances the air in your home with a crisp, refreshing aroma. I love the smell of purification. When it's diffused, purification helps purify and cleanse the air from stubborn and lingering odors. This uplifting blend is also an excellent choice for moisturizing dry skin. This is one that I love to diffuse when we go out of town. If we go to a hotel, I will set up the diffuser and have purification going because you don't know who was there before you. And so just kind of allowing the air to be purified and clean while you go out and you know, have your fun and go to dinner or whatever, and then you come back and it's nice and clean and refreshing. And it smells like home to me. So I really love purification and it is a, it is a must have in our home. Digize is the last oil in the Everyday Oils Kit and it is also a new addition to the Everyday Oils. And I'm so excited because it is another staple in our home, and it was another oil that we always recommended next on the list for people to get. But Digize contains a blend of sweetly aromatic essential oils that are both pleasant to smell and taste. The inclusion of peppermint essential oil may make it great for normal digestion. So it, it's, it has ginger, and um, it has fennel in it, which for me, I don't prefer the smell of fennel. So um, some people love the smell of Digize, and some people... Uh, don't love it, but it does help a lot with supporting digestion, and so we use it in our home a lot. Um, so Digize is a staple, and you want to have it. Stress away. 
I love Stress Away. I, it has grown on me and I really enjoy this oil. The scent is very relaxing and it's like being on a beach. Stress Away is not one of the everyday oils, but we're talking about it because it comes as a bonus oil in the premium starter kit. So we're just gonna talk a little bit about the benefits of Stress Away. Uh, Stress Away is the first product to contain a unique combination of lime and vanilla pure therapeutic grade essential oil. Stress Away also includes copaiba and lavender to reduce mental rigidity and restore equilibrium when taken as a dietary supplement. Stress Away is just an incredible oil. I made some bath salts for, uh, for teachers, for teacher appreciation out of Stress Away. And the mixture of the lime and the salt, it, it like reminded me of having a margarita on the beach. It was really, really, um, it's just a really relaxing uh, scent. And um, it's my, it's the beach scent. That's what I like to say. And it's the only oil that has vanilla in it right now. So uh, a lot of people love it for that reason. I know women that want us to sell this by the gallon because they wear it as a perfume. Next, we're going to talk about this flex oil concept, which is a really great idea by Young Living. Because our oils come from plants that are grown in the ground, sometimes um, things go out of stock and it takes a little while to get them back in. They were very careful in the oils they chose to put in the kit to make sure that they were oils they felt confident they could keep in stock um, on a consistent basis. But occasionally things go out and it takes a little while for them to come back. So they came up with this idea of these five flex oils that they could substitute into the kit um, at, without any notice whatsoever in case something goes out of stock. This keeps them from having to put a hold on kits and put do a big marketing push and keeps our kits flowing out really quickly so that there isn't a hold up for new people when you want to order your kit. So um, we're just going to talk a little bit about these are all really great oils too. So if you get any of these in your kit, that um, that is amazing. So they're, these are all really versatile oils. We're just going to talk about a few uses for each of them so that if you did get one, you have an idea of how to use it. Tea tree oil is also known as Melaleuca alternifolia, and it can be found in a wide spectrum of skincare and spa products. Um, it has been a skincare mainstay in many cultures, and it can help moisturize and beautify the appearance of the skin. Tea tree oil is one of the first oils I ever use, and so it holds a special place in my heart. But um, it's really great for helping support the skin. Aroma Ease is an oil that Young Living just released. It's a blend that they just released last year at a convention. Uh, that would have been the 2014 convention. It's a powerful blend of ginger, cardamom, peppermint, fennel, and spearmint um, that can help calm and relax. So that's those are some good uses for Aroma Ease. Lemongrass is one of my favorite oils. I love the smell of it. It smells like lemon drops to me. But it has a fresh citrus herb aroma that has made it popular in both home fragrances and Southeast Asian cuisine. And it may help support normal digestion. Citrus Fresh is another favorite of a lot of people. It has a sweet, refreshing blend of spearmint and our favorite essential uh, citrus essential oils. This popular blend is loved for its delicious flavor and pleasant scent, as well as for its benefits as a dietary supplement. I love to add Citrus Fresh to my water. When I'm working out, it's energizing, and because of the spearmint, it has a little bit of a like minty uh, freshness that's just really nice to balance all the citrus. I love it. Orange oil has a sweet citrusy aroma and flavor, and like other citrus oils, it's high in the beneficial compound D-lemonine. Orange is another thing, another oil that we've loved in our house. Um, when Christmas spirit went out of stock last Christmas, I mixed orange and uh, cinnamon bark oil in my diffuser, and it smelled like Christmas and cookies, and it was amazing. So orange, all of these are great oils. If you got any of these in your kit, um, now you have a few ideas of how you can use them. I mentioned earlier that one of the ways that we um, love to use the oils is aromatically through using a diffuser. So Young Living has several options for diffusers. And the super exciting thing is that with this new kit, you get to take your pick. Choose the diffuser that you want. The home diffuser and the dewdrop diffuser are both um, both come in the kit at the price of $160. So that means you get the 10 oils 
actually 11 with stress away and you get a diffuser and your membership and so that's really awesome uh, the aroma or bamboo diffuser they are called both so a lot of us call it the bamboo diffuser but in the young living stuff a lot of times it's listed as the aroma diffuser and the aria diffuser are both available um, as upgrade options so they're a little bit higher priced but they're both really great diffusers the aria diffuser alone is over $200 um, for this diffuser and it plays music I did not know this until one of my friends got it and she told me it plays music and so now it's on my wish list and I want to get an Aria diffuser. I have the Dewdrop diffuser and I love it. Um, personally, that's the one that I would go with if you're trying to stick in the $160 range. It uses all of the water um, and that it's the first diffuser that I've had that does that. Um, a lot of times diffusers will leave, you know, uh, a, a lot of water left in the bottom at when it stops running and so then you're, you're like well do I have oil in there do I dump it do I just put more oil in on top what if I want to use a different oil and it feels kind of wasteful to me so um, this one uses almost all of the water there's like a little bitty puddle in the bottom and it, it makes me happy so <laughs> I love this diffuser it also has a light option that turns off and so people like having um, having both of those options there This was one of the most exciting things for me about the new premium starter kit because when I got my kit I was so excited about the oils and I wanted to share them with friends and family but I didn't really have an easy way to do that. So Young, Young Living has made it really easy by putting 10 of these Love It Share It cards in your kit. So you have two cards, two Thieves cards, two Panaway cards, two of Frankincense, two Peppermint, and two Lavender and you have 10 Dram bottles that you could put oil in and um, give to people as samples along with the cards that talk about the oil and some ways that they can use it. And so it makes it super easy to just share um, something that you're really excited about with uh, people that you love. There are also some sample packets in your kit. So you could use those and put those in the dram bottle. Uh, the sample packets have about seven drops of oil in them and they can't be closed. So you want to make sure that if you're giving it to someone, it's something they can they're planning to use all at once. And a lot of times people aren't gonna use seven drops of oil at one time. The best way actually is to let them use it in a diffuser. So if you wanna let someone borrow your diffuser, if you're a super nice friend, you would let someone borrow your diffuser. And you give them a, a sample packet um, of lavender so that they can diffuse. It's the perfect amount for them to start with diffusing. So it's just a really great, easy way to share something that you are super excited about. In your premium starter kit, you're also going to get two travel packs of Ninja Red, uh, the Wolfberry Super Fruit Supplement from Young Living. So this gives you a chance to really try um, another favorite Young Living product. This is a staple in our home. We use it every day um, to maintain wellness. It is um, essential in, in our home and in many homes. So if you're looking at um, a supplement to help maintain wellness, I highly recommend uh, using Ninja Red. It is Ninja Red blends puree from selectively sourced Ninja Wolf Berries with powerful superfruit extracts and pure essential oils for a supplement that offers a balanced blend of nutrition for a delicious whole body superfruit infusion. Like what you taste? There's a lot of other Ninja Red products out there. There's Ninja Nitro, which I also love. But the great thing about Ninja Red is if you try this and it's something that you really like and you want to start adding this, you can get a, um, uh, a essential rewards pack. We'll talk about essential rewards here in just a little bit, and it's a less expense, the least expensive way to really um, begin using Ninja Red in your home. All right, so let's talk about the wholesale membership. Um, the wholesale membership, if you're going to get the premium starter kit, it comes with the oils that we have talked about, the 10 everyday oils plus the bottle stress away. You get a diffuser um, and you get your wholesale membership, which is a 24% wholesale discount. There's no yearly fees and there is an income opportunity, although you do not have to sell anything. You can simply be a member that uses the oils and loves buying them for your family and you don't have to share a thing with anyone. 
But if you do want to share, there is an income opportunity there. So here's how you sign up. If this is something that you're interested in, you can go to www.youngliving.com. Click become a member. It's in the top right corner um, of the screen and enter your information along with the ID number of the person who introduced you to Young Living. That's really important there. If someone introduced you to Young Living and they are a member, you want to get their ID number and make sure that you sign up under them because that they will benefit from that. That is um, one of the ways that we earn uh, commissions. This is my full-time income. Um, and even if they haven't said to you that they're doing the business, you might just check with them um, and see if, if that's something that they want you to do. Sign up under them because you want to have someone that helps guide you through this process. And if you have a friend that cared enough about you to introduce you to Young Living, then that sounds like a pretty good person to go to to help, um, help you through the process and partner with you. Potential Rewards is a really great program. This is an optional program. So if you sign up as a wholesale member, you are not required to sign up for Essential Rewards. But I want to talk about it anyways because it's so amazing. It's convenient automatic order, ordering that happens every month. So if you get to where you, are, you love the oils and you're using certain products on a daily basis, um, the kit comes with five milliliter bottles. And if you have a family of four and um, you're using lavender, on your family every day, you're probably going to go through that in a month um, and or two. And so you might want to make sure that lavender is on your auto ship. And that's something that comes to you all the time because you love it and you share it with other people. So um, it's just a great option for making sure that you always have what you need in your home. There's also discounted shipping. Um, so you get your shipping for less discounted product packages. I was talking about the Ninja Red. Um, Essential Rewards Pack, it is amazing. We it is it stays on my auto ship every month. You also, this is the big thing, okay? You earn points for free product. Um, you can earn up to 20% back in points. It starts out at 10 and then after a year it bumps up to 20. Um, right now I'm earning 20 points, 20% 20 back in points every month on my order. And so it's great. I can turn around and use those points to get products that I want. Um, I usually use it to try new products because even though I've been using the oils for three and a half years, I, there are a lot of Young Living products that I still haven't tried. It's, um, it's also risk-free. You can cancel at any time. So if you know you want to order a few things outside of the Premium Starter Kit, I highly recommend just getting on Essential Rewards and ordering through Essential Rewards. That way, you've earned some points, and if you can maintain it, awesome. But if not, you can cancel it, and there's no problem. You also get one grace month per year because we all go through those those months where things are a little tight. So um, that gives you the flexibility to say, hey, I just want to skip this month and um, still keep your points and everything. Basically, it's only 50. You order fifty about $50 worth of product a month. Um, and if you want to order lemon, lavender, or peppermint every month, that's going to be $50 a month. If you get to where you're using Ninja Red, um, that will easily cover $50 a month. So you really want to make sure that you are budgeting wisely and able to get the most for your money. And Essential Rewards is a great way to do that. I know when I was starting out, $50 a month was a lot. Um, I committed to it because I wanted to get the points. But there were times when I couldn't do $50. And so what I would do is offer, open up my order and offer to share my discount with friends and family. So this is what I started doing before I ever did the business at all. I just said, hey, um, I only need lavender, uh, but if anybody else needs anything, let me know, and I'll order it for you. And I did that, and it allowed me to maintain my essential rewards um, without selling to anyone and sharing the benefits of oils with friends and family and earn a lot of points that way, too. So it was, it was a really easy way to maintain it, and so it's something I recommend you looking into. If you're all about the budget, this is going to be really exciting for you. Uh, three equals free. I love the way that this program works. Basically, when you enroll as a member with a premium starter kit, that's what PSK stands for there, premium starter kit, um, you have the potential to earn um, bonuses that can help cover the cost of your kit. So if you pay $160 for your kit, a little more with tax and shipping, and you introduce three friends in that same month 
to a premium starter kit, you're going to earn $150 the next month. And that almost covers the cost of your new kit. If you introduce four friends, you'll earn $200 because you earn $50 per, um, per friend. So it's a great way to kind of say, hey, you know, this is a little bit of a stretch for me. But I, but I can, if I have three friends that want this um, information too, then it makes it really easy to just earn back what you, um, what you spent on the oils. Very quickly on, after I started sharing and educating others about oils, um, my oils paid for themselves. And so um, it's a really quick and easy way to start out where um, your oils are not coming out of your personal family budget, which is always really nice. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this beautiful new kit with you, along with these oils that have been just a huge blessing to my family and I. I want to um, invite you to join us on this journey. It is an incredible journey of health that has been amazing for myself and many of my friends. If you have any questions, reach out to the person that invited you to watch this video, and I hope that you have a very blessed day.